Elijah had a tough week. At a place called Carmel. Picture this, folks. At a place called Carmel, Elijah stands alone, facing off against 950 prophets of Baal. 950 of them. Picture David alone by himself, standing against 10 times the rest of us. It's a great story, one of the greatest stories in the Old Testament. They had two altars. They built one here, and they built one here, and they put a bull on one of them and a bull on the other. And the 950 prophets of Baal danced to their gods and called upon their gods, and Elijah called upon the God of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, and whichever God brought fire to the bull, everybody would worship. And Elijah prevailed. But at what cost? In the first part of the text for this morning, Queen Jezebel herself, one of those Baal cult followers, put a death sentence out on Elijah's head. So may the gods do to me, moreover, if I don't have your head on a platter. It was a tough week. Elijah needed a break. He needed to get out. He needed a little R and R, so it was to Horeb that he went. He'd had it up to here with God, with life, with everything. He just needed to get away. Can't you understand that? 900 years later, God, Jesus and his disciples had a tough week. This building, rebuilding the kingdom of God stuff wasn't going very well. Do you remember some of those stories? Jesus forgave the sins of the paralytic and they charged him with blasphemy. He healed the man with the withered hand on the Sabbath day and they charged him with breaking the law. He went back home. Any of you have ever gone back home? He went back home and his own people didn't listen to him. And then he heard through the grapevine that King Herod had just beheaded John the Baptist. It's a tough week. Jesus' disciples needed a break. They needed to get away. They needed to recharge their batteries. So Jesus took them to a lonely place. Folks, they'd had it up to here with God, with life, with everything. They just needed to get away. Can't you understand that? I wonder if they went to Horeb. I wonder if Horeb isn't the place that all of us go to. Have you ever had a tough week? You ever had it up to here with God? Or life? Or everything? And you just need a break? You just need to get away? I think all of us can understand that. I think all of us need Horeb. A place of safety. A place where we can go to recharge our batteries. For some of us, it's 10 days in Destin. (laughs) for others of us it's cabin in the mountains sometimes Horeb can be found in Vegas anybody ever find Horeb in Vegas I didn't either but I thought it was a good (laughs) sometimes Horeb can be the Turks and Caicos (laughs) anybody here ever find Horeb at Steamboat Springs or Vail, or Aspen? You ever find Horeb at the Cape? But folks, let's be clear, Horeb can be found in a walk in the woods. Or a trip to Starbucks. Or a two-mile run with your iPod. 
Horeb is the place where all of us go to get away for a while, certainly from work, maybe from each other, perhaps even from God himself. It can be as far away as the next continent or as close as your own imagination. And folks, the beauty of it all is that sometimes 10 days are not enough and sometimes 10 minutes are all you need. So the next time you go to Horeb, open your eyes and pay attention. The God that you're trying to get away from just might show up in places and people and events you least expected. The Bible, you see, is filled with God appearances. There's a fancy word for that. It's called epiphanies, theophanies, God showing himself. And most of the time, when God shows himself, God shows himself using flaming arrows and earth-shaking sh and earthquakes and big, boisterous trumpets. Elijah's Horeb. There was a boisterous wind and a huge earthquake and a consuming fire and God wasn't in any of them. And then there was a still, small voice. The sound of sheer silence. On the disciples' Horeb, God was there, but not in the way they expected if you read Mark, God showed up in five little pieces of cakes of bread and two small fish. Sometimes that's all we need. Sometimes in God's hand, 10 minutes, a blueberry pie, a sheer silence, a telephone call, a little bit of bread and a little bit of wine sometimes is all we need. Folks, sometimes it's enough to beat back the Jezebels and make the difficult weeks blessed. Horeb is the place we go to find that place.